Hello, Vada community. I'm your man, DJ Fuck, and welcome to the Funk Cafe. Yes, that camera's on, and you're welcome. Woo! Yes, I told you when that camera comes on, you're welcome here at the Funk Cafe. Yesterday, I went crazy digging. Had a good time. Found a lot of my stuff. I want to show a little bit of it, because I don't want to make the video too long, plus I'm still cleaning and sleeving some of the stuff. So I want to show you what, what I already got. Did not do too much work preparing it, such as cleaning and sleeving? So uh, I want to show that. And I'm going to mention something at the end of the video to all my true, true R&B lovers that uh, love R&B music to the max. So this little tidbit's going to be for you after I finish showing uh my pool from uh, some crate dick. All right, I'm gonna jump right into it. This, you just don't leave out there. And all these, with the exception of one, were $5 and under. Okay, this first one, you don't leave out in the wild when you see it this claim. Janet Jackson's first solo album. I'm a big Janet Jackson fan, so yes, of course I have it. But look how clean that is. You think I'm going to leave that out there to be destroyed? Because it would. Because RB music doesn't move like all the other genres of music. I mean, in the record stores, this album is set there. It get moved around, tugged around, handled. Next thing you know, you go back two, three weeks later, it look like crap. Vinyl, like it never been played. Excellent. No, I'm not leaving that out in a while. I'm not leaving it out there to be used and abused. Then I lay the eyes on you. Oh, little Rick James there. Next, another album. Man Child. R&B funk band that has my boy, Kenny Evans. You know Kenny Evans? At Evans is go by the name Babyface. Yes, 1977. United Artists Music. Funky, funky album. Funky ass album. Right here. Yes, Power in Love. Yeah. Kenny Evans. We know him really now as Babyface. Before the deal. Man Child. Next, who in the gang? Live at the Sex Machine. Yes. Now, on the light, and this is before the RB pop disco sound uh, that we really, really are real familiar with from like Ladies Night to Celebrate, uh, you know, the dance track, Open Sesame. All that. This was where they were more like jazz before JT Taylor came in with the lead vocals right here. Jazzy, funky, can't go wrong. Just some raw cool in the game on this. Next is Junie Freeze on Westbound Records. Now, if you don't know who Junie is, Judy is a cat that played with Parliament Funkadelic, and I think he did some stuff with Ohio Players. This album, 1975, is funky as hell. Now, he has a number of solo albums, but this is one of his funkies because he kind of got a little, I don't know, like he was trying to cross over and get more commercial sound, and uh, it just, to me, he kind of left that 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 stuff that made him who he was. He kind of left that that nasty funk and kind of lightened it up a little bit, which I didn't like. But this right here is one of his funkier, funkier albums. Right here, 
friends. I mean, you can just look and tell. That's that's straight up fun. Yes. And this was like five bucks. And the first, the Janet, the Janet, the, the cool and the gang was like five bucks. And the Janet Jackson was like five bucks. The next one here is a group called Waters. Found out this is a fam. This is also a 1975 R&B soul funk album. And uh, on Blue Note, as you can see, and what caught my attention was the cover. I thought it was interesting. And glad I brought it home. Dropped the needle on it. Vocals slammed. Of course, you know, I love the female artists. And these two ladies are blowing. The guys are doing their job too, but the ladies is running the show on this album. Great R&B song. Glad I brought it on Blue Note. 1975 Waters is the name of the group. Great. Now, this is another Blind Fire. To me, never heard of them. What caught my attention was this cover. If you can really look, you can see a face looking up right there. But what really got me was the back. All the musicians with their instruments looking like they're gonna do some damage, and he did some damage. So I said, "Huh, to me, sounds interesting. Kind of reminds me of In Two Man." But when I was out in the wild, I didn't pay attention till I got home, and I noticed to me what it means right here. It tells you going down what it is. It's the ultimate music experience. The ultimate, the, uh, the ultimate music experience. And if you look, it's going down on the on side down. There. Let me tell you, it's two. Okay, I count in this uh, in this picture two women. And I don't know which one is which, but their names are Lois Brown and Susan Grindale. They make this out. The vocals are killer coming from these two ladies. Killer! I mean, somebody between the two got a growl. Ooh, man. Some of the notes they were hitting, man make this a real enjoyable album. It is A to B play and it is fantastic. So it's on a MGM Records. And when I look at MGM Records, I always think of more like soundtracks because that's what I see mostly MGM uh, in the dollar bed. And it's mostly soundtracks from movies they did. I can't think of like the, uh, the King and I and all that kind of stuff. Maybe if they did. Ten Commandments, stuff like that, but woo, this glad I picked this up. Five bucks, and I mean the cover, the record, everything's beautiful. Everything's beautiful. Now, here is the buy of the day, even with the rest of the stuff. This right here, and this is also the most expensive. But, not by much. But to see this out in the wild, in the condition, and where I was digging and found it, I was gonna take seven bucks for Natalie Cole. Unforgettable with love, Natalie Cole. As you can see behind me, I have one. I don't give a damn, seven dollars? Look at that cup. Huh? 
Ain't nowhere in hell. I'm gonna leave this. Woo! Yes, this was the body. I was almost ready to say, I'm calling it a day, but I went to a couple more places and I'll be showing that stuff later on in another video. So that's it right there for the dig so far. But as I said in the beginning of this video, I want to say something to the diehard R&B lovers. We love our vinyl. We love to find good R&B funk music on vinyl. But that's not always going to be the case, especially when you start getting into newer R&B, newer uh, maybe funk as well, because they're just not going to press it because it's not a demand for it. And what made me uh, think of this was when I was, I went over to the CD section and I noticed an artist had a new CD. And it kind of got past me and I'm a big fan of this artist. So I'm gonna use her as an example of what I'm talking about. The artist I'm talking about is Layla James. She has a total of seven CDs, albums, whatever you wanna call them. Her first one, A Change Is Gonna Come. And by the way, she is related to Etta James. I, I forgot she's granddaughter, niece, I forgot. But yes. Her second one is Little James, let's do it again. And I mean, I have heard all these uh, her albums and their patterns. Her third one, Little James, my soul. Her fourth one, is Lila James loving you more in the spirit, spirit of Eva James. Here's her other one. Uh, uh, what is it? Fall for you. You can see it up in the corner. Fall for you. That's her fifth one. Her sixth one, Lila James did it for love. And one that was just released this year, right here, C, at a Giants. So, that's what I'm saying. If you really want to continue getting great R&B music, you're going to have to go to CDs. No matter how much you love vinyl, you're going to have to go to CDs and still want to collect that physical media. Because if you don't, you're going to miss out. God, that's the only way you're going to get all those Lila James albums I just showed you. Unless some spectacular, miraculous thing happen and they choose one to put out on vinyl. I don't know. This is her, her, her latest. And also, while I was in the CD department, I found Shaka Khan Homecoming Concert. I just watched this like a couple months back on PBS. Great concert, Shaka Khan doing her thing. So that is what I got for all true lovers of R&B and just want to keep on finding it and listening to it and buying it. You're going to have to go to see it. So with that said, I'm your man DJ. Funk, I don't know why I'm getting tongue tied, and you're always welcome here in the Funk Cafe. And you know what I'm about to say? I'm out.